Let me do a quick demo of how to use the wipeout command. So here's a topo drawing. It's a site plan. It's in model space. As you can see, there I am. I'm in model space. And I've got property lines on the C prop layer. And I've got topo lines on the C topo layer. I've made the topo at 253 continuous 0.008. And so now I want to put some uh, markings on it. So I usually put the annotations in paper space. So here I've done that. I've made an annotation. 121, I've aligned it with the line. But now I have the line going through it, and I need to get rid of that. So that's something called the wipeout command. I'm going to type it in. Wipe out creates a wipeout object. Wipe out. And so here we go. One, two, three, four. I just make a little thing around it. Enter. Uh oh, it went away. That's because the wipeout wipes out everything underneath it. So let me bring that. Right click. Draw order, bring my text to the front. And that looks cool, but I have this ugly box around it. So that's another wipeout command. Wipeout frames. And here it says on or off. So I'll type off. And there we go. Now to do more of those, I can uh, I can I can copy that wipeout and the text. That's what I usually do. But then I have to go and get them realigned usually. So it's not not the fastest easiest thing. And I just kind of pop that up, copy that stuff, and I'll take that point and I'll put it say there and there and there and there. And then I just have to edit my text. 122. I don't know what these numbers what should be. 123. 124. So it's a little bit laborious. I'm off by something on this. 125. But it gives you the right idea. So there we go. That's how to use the wipeout command to put these on. And notice I'm still in my model space. got my clean drawing here. Okay, so that's really important that I keep that as a clean drawing. So there we go. Wipeout.